Here is a video explaining a DaVinci X platform pan proctocolectomy procedure with an ileoanal reservoir and protective ileostomy. Pan proctocolectomy is the standard surgical treatment for ulcerative colitis. When possible, the preferred approach should be minimally invasive. Robotic surgery is a way to perform minimally invasive surgery that might have potential benefits. Not all robotic platforms work in the same way or as cost efficient. The Da Vinci X surgical system, X system, has a cart design inherited from the second and third generation Da Vinci S, SI surgical systems, making it more affordable than a Da Vinci XI surgical system. X system might have more range limitations while working in multi quadrant abdominal procedures like pan proctocolectomy for ulcerative colitis. Trocar positioning, system cart docking and theatre setup is key to performing this procedure with an X system in a safe and effective way. The patient is a 60 year old woman with moderate severe ulcerative colitis referred to our colorectal unit because of failure in medical treatment after trying five different biological agents. The most recent colonoscopy shows a rectum and sigma with edematous and friable mucosa with superficial ulcerations. After a multidisciplinary discussion, a palm proctocolectomy with ileal pouch anal anastomosis plus loop ileostomy is considered the best option instead of a three-stage procedure because the patient had to be optimised until a reduction in corticosteroids to 10 mg per day and a correct nutritional status were achieved. The Da Vinci 4th generation X system is used. The usual anatomical references are marked on the patient before trocar placement. The approach with this system is slightly different compared to the XI system because of the absence of the boom mounted architecture. Instead of following a horizontal line for the positioning of the trocars as in the XI system, in this case they are placed in a zigzag pattern which allows a more efficient fully robotic procedure. Two 8mm robotic ports plus two 12mm robotic ports are used. Two 12mm assistant ports are added to the robotic ones. Port positioning is as shown in the figure. A continuous high volume pneumoperitoneum system is used to ensure stability throughout the procedure. The procedure starts with bowel mobilization. The patient is placed in Trendlenburg and left lateral. The system is docked from the patient's left shoulder at a 40 degree angle to the patient. Before being docked, the arms have been prepared as follows. Arm 4, bipolar. Arm 1, camera. Arm 2, monopolar. And arm 3, tip up. The right mesocolon is mobilised with an inferior approach. The first incision is made at the terminal ilium towards the duodenum, preserving the right ureter and gonodal vessel. Dissection of the pancreatic head is followed by that of the right mesocolon over Tolt's fascia. A gauze is placed over the head of the pancreas to avoid any injury during further dissection. The medial to lateral approach is now carried out to dissect ileocolic vessels that are sectioned distally. Vessels are transected independently after skeletonization and ligation with hemlock. Since this group of patients generally have thickened mesenteries and increased vascularization is frequently present, a vessel sealer is used to divide fat tissue from main vessels. After the complete mobilization and transection of the right colon, the transverse mesocolon is dissected with a section in between hemlocks of the right and left branches of the middle colic vessels. Proximal sectioning is not mandatory in this case and could result in functional problems in the post-op period. Dissection continues towards the splenic flexure. Due to the patient's obesity, it becomes more complex, so the patient is tilted to the right, maintaining Trendelenburg. The left mesocolon is dissected over Tolt's fascia with ligation of the left colic 
and sigmoid vessels. The left and parietocolic ligament is then dissected. At this point, a second docking manoeuvre takes place. The operating table is moved 180 degrees to allow the robotic platform to be docked 45 degrees to the left inferior part of the patient. For this new docking manoeuvre, the arms have been loaded as follows. Arm 4 tip-up, arm 1 bipolar, arm 2 camera and arm 3 monopolar. The right pararectal peritoneum is incised up to dissection of the superior rectal vessels and then sectioned. The mesorectum is dissected along the mesorectal fascia with direct vision and preservation of both hypogastric trunks. The dissection is performed starting in the posterior part up to the lower pelvis and continuing along both sides and the anterior parts as far as the levator alley plane. Rectal transection is completed. Two loads of 45 mm medium thick endo GIA are used in this case. The specimen is extracted through a fine steel incision which will be used to perform the ileal pouch. The terminal ileum is transected with a 60 mm medium vascular endo GIA. The J pouch is constructed to reach a length of 18 to 20 centimeters. Four 60 mm mechanical loads are used. A 29 mm anvil is placed and fixed to the lower part of the reservoir with a 3 O PDS and mechanical sutures are over sutured to avoid possible bleeding. After the J pouch is completed, laparoscopically assisted ileal pouch anal anastomosis is performed. This allows a direct view of pouch positioning and anastomosis. A flexible endoscopy is performed to check the anastomosis and the J pouch to assess any bleeding or intraoperative leakage. The procedure is completed by performing a loop ileostomy to protect the anastomosis. Operative time was 325 minutes and estimated blood loss 150 millilitres. In the post-operative period, she presents ileus that is solved with conservative management. She has renal colic too. Finally, she is discharged after 12 days. Pathological anatomy reported a 118 cm resection, intestinal mucosa with ulcerations and pseudopolyps, and also healthy distal ring intestinal mucosa. In conclusion, pamproctocolectomy with Da Vinci X is feasible. While the procedure is technically challenging, the technique can be performed safely with two dockings in experienced centres with an adequate standardisation of the process.